Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for the support. Thank you for clicking on this video. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about feminine hygiene tips that you should already know, but just in case, just in case there's still someone out there that doesn't know yet. I'm here to spell it out to you. Please, please, please. This is 2022. Let's do better. So I'm sharing five tips in this video and I've written them down so that I don't forget. My first, should I say is a tip? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's like over the years, growing up, we've always said, don't use soap to wash. Don't wash down there with soap and all of that. I'm just here to clarify. When they say don't wash down, I'm not a, I'm not a, what, what do you call it? I'm not a gynecologist or something, but it's, it's basic. When you go on the internet and everything, when you Google these things, you get more information about them. But when they say don't use soap down there, it's, basically means don't wash the actual vagina o with soap sorry for is it tmi i don't think it's tmi anyways <laughs> it's like don't wash the actual vagina o with soap like that has like a self cleansing clean self cleansing property but you see the actual like the vulva the folds and all of that my darling you need to use soap because if you don't use soap it's gonna stink it is going to stink so you need to wash with soap so when they say don't use soap, it means don't start digging soap into your vagina holes or something. No, don't do that. But you need to cleanse between the folds and all of that with soap. If you get what I mean. I don't know how I can be more explicit. Maybe I'm going to insert like a picture or something more explicit than this. Because actually, like for the longest time, I was one of those people that actually believed don't use soap. Until recent years, not very recent. Before I start calculating what recent. <laughs> Until recent years, then I realized it is not actually... When they say don't use soap, it is the actual hole, not the. You know, that is in layers. You need to cleanse properly. So, you need to use soap for those areas. And to be honest, like, I say like this um, pH, wash, P, pH washes and all of that. Is It is not, I'll say it's like, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's fancy if I put it that way. But honestly, down there, just use basic soap, like. Your basic body wash is going to do just fine as long as it's not and i would say personally or should i say i think it's just things i've learned over the years don't use anti i don't well generally i don't use anti antimicrobial soap to wash my body you know those um um like the detours and the like detours setters those kind of soap i don't i stopped basing with those kind of soap so i just use the regular soap like the doves like just the basic soap so to wash down there you can just go for this basic soap as well rather than using I would, I would highly recommend not to use antimicrobial soap to wash down there. Do you get what I mean? So, any soap really would, will be fine. And rinse properly after washing with soap, obviously. And moving on to my number two tip. So, my second tip is going to be that... I don't know how to explain this better. I'm African. When I, when I have my bath, I have like... I use like the hard sponge. You know those sponge now? It's... Personally, I feel like it hates with. You know when people say they wash with washcloths? I, I don't. I don't actually believe that thing is doing anything. So I use so, um, like the scrubs to scrub my skin. I feel like it helps with exfoliation and all of that. But you see, when, when you want to wash down there, there's there's not much exfoli. <laughs> there's not much exfoliation you're actually doing there. I feel like that area needs more of a wipe than a scrub. I don't even get. So that's why I would say, get a separate wash clothes to clean down there so when you have your bath after you've had your shower everything and just get just have a separate wash clothes that you use to clean down there that's why that's the clothes you soap up and just wash down there it's it cleans better i don't know if you get my analogy the way i think about it is this like actually now that i'm explaining it it doesn't really make sense but when i was thinking about it it made sense but honestly i just feel like it's better to use wash clothes down there it cleans better because it's in folds if you think about it it's folds like you need something that you'll be able to get into get in there to clean properly so i feel like wash clothes is better is a better choice but if i mean for years i was using my normal regular sponge but it's just over the over time I realized this actually cleans better wash clothes cleans better so i started to use wash clothes all that part of my body i use the sponge just for down there i use a different wash clothes and also i feel like it's also hygienic like you're using two separate um two separate items to clean your intimate like you're using two separate items for your body like for the more intimate area you have like a specified 
like clothes for that i don't know if you get what i mean you're not using it for all of your body so it just makes sense for me over time and it works fine i would advise that you try it too and my number three tip is wash from the front to the back is that right from the front to the back yes from, and this is this is basically to prevent yeast infection like if you're <laughs> <laughs> if you've not done biology over the years, like you understand, like our intestine has some microbial content and all of that, and when you pass feces, that's like that place basically has like more microbial content than the front. I mean, you're an anus now. <laughs> what did I say, anus? <laughs> I mean, you're anus now. <laughs> it has more microbial content there compared to the front. So if you're if you're moving from the back to the front, you'll be transferring some things that you don't want to be transpiring let me just put it that way but when you clean from the front to the back it's like you're avoiding that cross contamination let's not get into the technicalities of that but to prevent infection clean from front to back yes my number four tip it might sound so basic but hear me out make sure you towel dry after shower like you might think everybody does it but do you actually take your time to dry down there after your shower? Like you don't want moisture lingering in that area. Like the more moisture you have down there, the more suitable the area is to aid microbial growth. And hence, you are at the risk of infection. So I would say make sure you properly towel dry. Like towel dry properly before you put on your pants or your whatever outfit you are putting on. Make sure everything is dry. And to all my Muslim sisters out there, I know well, like when we go to the loo, we're supposed to rinse with water and all of that. I know we don't do the old cleaning with, I hope we are not, <laughs> do the old cleaning with tissue. You're supposed to rinse with water. After you've rinsed with water, every time, please make sure you use a toilet roll or, yeah, a toilet roll is a safer option because it's, it's not reusable. Make sure you, like, you dry pop properly before you put on your knickers and carry on with life because... It's going to save you like it's it reduces the odor as well as preventing infection which is like priority infection you don't want to be getting infections down there and the odor as well i mean it's you smell nice you smell nicer you don't want to be smelling <laughs> nonsense anyways and my number four tip and i just spoke about towel drying and everything another thing another another thing that i would say is if it's not necessary to wear knickers I actually don't think you should like if you're not going out or if there's nothing warranting you to wear knickers basically don't wear it wear a free flowing gown or whatever on when you're indoors you don't have to always wear knickers all the time it's just it's just a tip it's just open the sisters out the sister out there I mean if you don't maybe if you don't live in if you don't live in a place where you're comfortable to know walk around without knickers obviously wear well, knickers but then if you are in situations where you can why not do away with it it's going to save you more life and you get more more <laughs> it's going to save it's going to even you you feel you feel you feel good you feel better like there's more um what's it called more free flow of hair that's the way I, that's the way i see it there's free flow of air and yeah you don't have to wear knickers all the time I'm just saying, I mean, if you still want to wear knickers all the time, good for you. <laughs> no, it's, it's nothing, it's, it's nothing, like there's nothing particularly wrong with it. It's just one of those things. If you can do it, do away with it. And honestly, it's just like the way I say bra. If you don't have to wear bra, don't. Don't do it. Why put yourself in such discomfort? Don't do it. Just let it be. Let everything flow. <laughs> and yeah, I think we've come to the end of this video, guys. And I hope these tips have been helpful. If you, if there's something else, if there's some, if, if you have a tip you would like to share with us, you can always leave that in the comment section. Let's all learn from it. I mean, learning is continuous. Anything to, to be better, honestly. So if there's something you would like to share with us, please leave it down in the comment section so we can all benefit from it. And thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips and just lifestyle tips generally. And I'll see you next. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.